Hi everyone, welcome. I hope that you're doing really well today. Today I'm coming to you with my Week in Review. If you're not familiar with my Week in Reviews, it's basically kind of my hybrid of weekly favorites. I also add in some things that maybe I purchased, some things new, some things new to me, or if I don't have anything that I have just recently purchased, then I may just go into my collection and bring out something that I have not used in a while. So if you are interested in my Week in Review, then please keep watching. The first thing that I want to speak with you about today, this is the company, I will say it wrong, so it is a mini straightening brush. Now, I just did a get ready with me, so if you like this look, there is a get ready with me coming. This is the first time I've ever used a paddle straightening brush, and it was kind of by accident, to be honest. I had seen this on Sephora, and I thought, my daughter would love that. It would be so much easier because she straightens her hair every day. Her hair is probably about three inches past her bra strap. You know, she has long hair. It's incredibly thick and this came in the mail and I'm like this would not even work for my granddaughter I mean it is way too small so I thought you know what I'm going to give it a try myself I used it today as I said on two day hair second day hair um, now my second day hair does tend to be a lot drier on the ends so I can't hold that against the straightening brush but what I did notice using it just one time I do like that it got everything nice and straight I had some wave to my hair the biggest difference between that just the first use this and a flat iron, the traditional flat iron, is that having such fine, thin hair, it did not seem to pull my hair down, meaning that it kept some volume up here at the root area, the way I could turn it and maneuver it. So I did like that about it. So first time, first impressions, so far so good. Next thing I wanna to talk to you about is something that I have mentioned before, but especially like we got really cold here really quick yesterday. Last night it was around the zero mark. Today our high is 31. So what does that mean? That means that's going to take a toll on our skin. This stuff is the best stuff. And like I said, I know I've talked about it before, but I have gotten some messages and emails asking me something that I would not give up right now that is part of my skincare, and this Pixie Glow Tonic is definitely something that I would not give up right now because this strips all the old dead skin cells away. It also gives my skin just an awakening. There's no other way that I can think of to explain it than that. It's like it gives my skin an awakening and it looks so fresh, it looks pretty. I just absolutely love this. If you have not tried it, it's worth the, I think it's $10 maybe, I don't even know. I will put it right here. I'll look it up and put it right here. But it is so, so worth it. This is amazing. I am going to be ordering another one and I hope they come in bigger sizes. If you're having issues right now with dull skin and you know that as we get into the winter months that it's just going to get worse and worse and worse, add this. Add this do this right before you start with any serums any oils any lotions use this try it tell me if you like it I think you'll like it I've been using the same foundation still working on getting rid of this but I'm telling you I love it more and more every day that I use it so I can't say that I'm not going to get more because I probably will because I just really like the way it looks on my skin I really do so um, that's all I'm going to say about that because it is definitely a repeat. I started using my NYX corrector. This is one of the peach ones. This is in light. Real pretty. It's like a, a definite peach, but it's not too orangey peach because that shows on me very quickly with my skin coloring. I was watching, I was watching the Emily Awards and she talked about this again. This is the Benefit Boing. Um, I have this in number one. And she talked about how much she loved it. I played around with it a little bit yesterday. I just got it yesterday. 
and then I used it like for sure from scratch used it today because she just went on and on about how how emollient it was how nice it was that she loved it so much it was her favorite I don't know about you but Emily has never led me wrong and I used it like I said this morning and it honestly is so brightening right here on this right here's where I used it a little bit right here it is so brightening and it has a good pigmentation but not too much that it's going to look funny after a while I really do like it so far I love the coverage of it they do have one if you don't like a full coverage they do have one that's a medium I don't know the name it was right beside this one on the display but it's super full coverage but yet it doesn't build up sometimes the nick went sometimes the next one would seem to gather a little bit if i was a little bit dry on my inner corner it would seem to gather a little bit and this has not done that so i definitely think this is going to be a favorite something else that i just got this is the buxom this is the box the power plump yeah power plump lip balm and this is the packaging that we have and really pretty and it turns kind of a pink and it will just start turning like a natural flushed pink I don't know if you can see it or not right there it's going to give you pouty plump lips it has a soothing and a tingling factor in it what I was wanting when I saw it I was like this would be great if I could put this on as I'm doing my makeup because I always put some kind of a balm on and then later when I'm ready to put my lip on especially if I'm using a matte lip or a liquid matte lip I can go on and this hopefully will do a little bit of plumping and if I do have a drier liquid lip that I'm working through then it's going to cause less lineage on my lips and I did use it today and I will tell you that it did give a really pretty flush oh maybe you can see it now see that pink right there it did give me a really pretty pink color and then my lips absorbed it nicely there was no tangle for me I had a little bit of a sensation almost like a tickling and then I noticed that it did smooth my lips a little bit so I'm super excited to use this Buxom Power Plumper because I think it'll be really I think it'll I think it'll do what I want it to do something else I got yesterday I have wanted this brush for so long and I just was like you know what I'm getting it this is the 91 brush from the Sephora Pro Featherweight Sephora brush I I have wanted this brush for so long and the get ready with me the get ready with me that you'll see in the next few days sometime this coming week I did a comparison with this and the echo tools brush and I did one side because like I said in the get ready with me the brush that you use does matter now before you get all upset with me <laughs> hear me out not necessarily that you have to use an expensive brush but I'm talking about the density and I'm talking about the size because uh, take for granted this other brush this is the little mini me of the 91 this is the 90 and I had been using a pretty dense brush putting on to set my under eye concealer and I was noticing a lot of lines and a lot of wrinkles being shown off I didn't like so I picked this one up just to set my under eyes and I used it today to go in with the powder and set and it is such a difference because it just picks up a little you knock off the excess it puts it on there beautifully and I do not have any extra things being accentuated or creased up so I really did like that but brush size does matter and I really couldn't tell a difference in let me get rid of that one I couldn't tell a difference in either one of these brushes except for this brush did seem to pick up um, pick powder up a little more easily but like I said it was no big deal um, if budget is an issue then this one is just fine this is just one of those things that I've wanted it I've looked at it and now I have it 
Okay, I'm going to show you something else that I got last night. This is a Sephora eyeshadow free hug. I saw this, I swatched it, and I was like, you're going home with me. It was the only one that was left. I mean, come on, look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I just love this so much. It's what's on my lid. It went on beautifully. It isn't creasing. I, I just think it is such a pretty, this could be my everyday low collar for the rest of my life. That is how much I love this collar. It's just gorgeous. It blends beautifully. I didn't have to wet it. Um, I used just a flat shadow brush and I love it. It is so pretty. I did also pick this up. This is Tahitian Pearl. Let me do a swatchy swatchy. Oh, look at that. If you like your bronzy copper colors, I found it for you. I found it for you. You are welcome. So those are two of Sephora's eyeshadows. This week I have been using my Sonia Kashuk bronzer, the cream bronzer. I just love this. Get a two pack at Ulta. I go in with this, you can see where I got it, put it in and then I just take it in and I pat it on like that. Did I just literally put more on my face? No. And then I take, oh, then I take the same one I did my foundation with, whichever, whichever sponge that is. I blend it all in. I love that so much. And I've been doing the cream blush this week and I've really really enjoyed it and I'll sh share something else that was a big shock to me like I still can't get over it and um, I've been using these two colors the um, forget me not I've used that and then I've also used the primrose and proper primrose and proper that's what I have on today and you'll see that I have a little dent in there. That's because of something in my get ready with me that I explained that I have been doing to myself and to a couple clients that want a little bit of a light color here, but don't want a highlight. Like I say highlight and they're like, they look like I just said Twilight Zone or something, you know, or a clown's coming, which would freak me out. That just, I just freaked myself out. I did decide this week that I was not going to be doing Vlogmas anymore. I was enjoying doing the car vlogs and everything, the little chats like when Tef was in the room. But when I went to my analytics and analytics, when I went to my analytics and looked, is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, there were a lot more people that did not want any part of me doing Vlogmas than the ones that did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it and you supported me through it, thank you so very much. I look at my views and my watch minutes to see what everybody is really on average enjoying to watch. And that's what I kind of, um, that's how I kind of base my choices and my decisions. So I will be... Um, I did a live stream yesterday just to let you know that I didn't just like, I wasn't a total loser and just quit and didn't say anything. Um, I was going to do some editing last night, but it was just crazy with the cold weather as having to get so many things done here on the farm, get extra hay piles down for the deer to eat and to lay in, just et cetera, et cetera. So um, I did not get that edited yet but that will go up on my second channel which a lot of you have subscribed to I will make note um, somewhere after the products that I talk about in the video I will make note when I do upload a vlog if you would like to see it um, so if that kind of thing interests you and some people just think that a beauty channel should be a beauty channel and vlogs should be on another channel I totally get that too. That was one reason that I created that channel. Also could very much tell that the declutter videos were not one that a lot of people wanted to see. Um, once again, that's fine. I have to be in the mood to watch one myself. So I was just kind of feeling out the water. I don't know if I don't try. So I hope that you understand 
me trying something new like that and saying that my powders were going to be the next, either my powders or my concealers. And I'm kind of working through both right now. And I picked up a powder the other day. I've been using my corn silk powder. That's all I've been using. I picked up this one, just kind of on a whim. This is the Perfect Finish HD Powder from e.l.f. Okay, I was thinking, you know, whatever. So this was before I got my Sephora brush. I took this brush and I put one in there and I'm like, okay. And I set my face. I was in a hurry, wasn't taking the time to bake that day. So I just went in and set my face, just like I'm doing right now. Didn't think any more of it. Ran out the door, got to mom's, da -da -da, you know, we did our thing. Um, later on, I went into, I went into the bathroom, went to wash my hands, looked up at the mirror, and I was like, wow, my makeup looks really good. I look closer and I look closer and I'm like, what did I wear today? Well, I've been wearing that for weeks now. Well, what did I do different? And it was this. This helped keep me so much matter right here in my T-zone. It was crazy. It wasn't drying. This wasn't clinging to anything that it shouldn't be. It looked fresh. It looks so pretty. I even think it blurred some pores a little bit. I truly do. It does come with this handy dandy little sponge right here and it also comes with a really nice size mirror. So this was an amazing find. I really do like this. I'll probably get a couple more of these because I really liked it a lot. Okay this is horrible. This is short. My battery's dying and I do not have another one charged and I still have not found my charger. Thank you guys so much for watching my week in review. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.